Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is April 17th, 2022, and we're back with another daily Nerdle. As always, if you enjoyed this puzzle yourself, before seeing the answer here, feel free to pause the video and go to nerdlegame.com. That link is in the video description below. If you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. But for now, let's get into today's puzzle. 3 times 4 plus 0 equals 12. Okay, we will have multiplication and not a two-digit number. So I'm going to go three digits uh, right away. Let's try and do something up in the 200s. Let's do, and we can't do 30. Let's do 31. Test that in a couple spots. Times 7 equals 217. Ooh, okay, not a three-digit number either. So we will have something we're gonna have something, this is really interesting here, so if it's a single digit, we have three, and we don't know if, yet if this is a three or a thirty something, but we're gonna have, if we do, I think it has to be a thirty something, minus something times something, equals, and the seven's going to go in one of those spots, actually because of the uh, commutative property, seven can go in either one of those spots, but it must go there, um, or actually no, seven, no, seven cannot be an answer because we already tested it here, equals something over here, so I think it has to be subtraction, because if we did division, no, actually it could be division. It could be sub if it was subtraction, we wouldn't have anything to really subtract off. We'd have to multiply by it. This is tough. Let's test this first and foremost. Um, so this will be 30. No, oh, 7 could also go here. Let's do something low. Let's do 32 minus, no, this will be too big. Oh, uh, so order of operations is going to come in here. So let's test another 3 here. 32 minus 3 times 7 would be 21. Uh, that would make something too big. So let's go sm uh, bigger here. Well, this, we can do 35. Let's do 36 minus 35 is 1. Oh, okay. We don't have subtraction either. This is really getting interesting. Um, okay, so... Curious, very curious. Seven doesn't go there. Seven could go here, but we're going to have division. Thirty-seven doesn't divide anything. So seven must be the answer. Unless, yeah, we can't have 3 divided by 70-something either. Or 3 divided by 7 times something. That wouldn't work. So 7 must be the answer today. Let's, let's spell this out. So 30-something divided by something. Well, that multiply doesn't go there. It must be 3 divided by something. So we're going to get a mixed fraction before the end. And then we're going to multiply to get it back out of mixed fraction. That's really interesting. Okay. Um, t 
times something equals seven. Is that how this is gonna go? Yeah, there's only one place for that multiplication to go. And we can't we can't multiply a three digit by a two digit to get a single digit. That doesn't work. So we must be dividing out ahead of time and we must get a mixed fraction. Unless we're doing three over three, but we've already tested. Haven't we tested the no, we haven't. So it could be three over three is one, but then yeah, that also doesn't work. So this must be smaller. I am seeing that 21 is a multiple of three and seven. So, and I do want to keep this small, obviously. 21 or 12, no, we can't do 12, 21. Okay, how does this work? So, th 7 divided by 21, working backwards here, is a third. So we're going to make a third here. A third of 3 is 9, or ninth. Oh, weird. Okay, well, it's the same I mean, commutative property here. This is all able to be moved around wherever. So 9 divided by 21 is going to be... Um, a complicated fraction there, but we can multiply back by 7 to get exactly where we would be with a third to get multiply back to 1. Wow, that is a weird one. That is a very weird one. 3 divided by 7, 3 sevenths, times 21, <laughs> leaves us with 9. Wow, that is a very, very hard puzzle. I did not see that one coming. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily math puzzles. That's all for now, and we will see you all tomorrow.